Hello from BC. It's a Saturday morning and you're in my shed. A bit of a quick look at some tool and cutter grinders and then we'll proceed with grid grinding a three fruit countersink for a customer. This is part of my collection of tooling and tool and cutter grinders. These three are live and working. And we have a few corpses in the background for repair. Switching scene. The attachment in use is a Royal Oak form relief grinder, probably from the 1960s and still work reasonably well. But boy, it took some messing about to get the thing to operate. The instruction manual is a little bit vague and the method of operation unusual. But we'll go around the other side and see some sparks when it's working. To set the cutting edges to the cam, first the locking latch is dropped into the slot in the cam plate and then a square used on a sitting gauge to align the fore and aft edges of the flute perpendicular to the table against the square. It takes a bit of getting used to but it's not so bad in the end. After setting the cutting edges to the cam, the chuck is tightened and I mark the clearance areas with a felt pen to see how the grind progresses. This can save a little bit of heartache if you haven't set it up right. With the attachment now running, we'll turn the grinder on and gradually introduce the tool to the wheel. A bit of power helps. A little bit of increase for each pass, but usually not more than a thing. And this is a bit closer of the mechanism working. You can see the left to right movement of the head. It does move radially as well, but I've cancelled that movement out. So it's axial clearance only. The rocker arm is adjustable in the pivot position to control the amount of radial and axial relief ground. Quite a simple mechanism and I have cams from 1 to 8 flute. 
interchangeable and reversible for left hand tools. As I said, this is probably as old as me and still working well. Amazing what good tool steel hardened well can last like. And with a bit of effort, two countersinks really round and ready to go back into service. Back again, I did want to start these grinding videos with simple items, but the countersink job presented itself. I will be putting more up in the future. For instance, a homemade head to do countersinks and taps. A bit of an adjustment of a Clarkson bracket and an ER32 collar chuck with a cam plate up on top. I have some good accessories for the Clarkson grinder and in a box down there we have a spiral fluke grinding attachment that will be in a future vid. Back to the old workhorse. It's only a Servian, not a very high quality machine, but it's done its job for many, many years. Power supply for my grinder, single to three phase converter for up to two and a half horsepower. I can thoroughly recommend these units. That item is about 11 years old now and the only trouble has been with the cheap Chinese 4-pin socket. The unit itself has run flawlessly. And that's set up there, which I think is a BF450, or Rong Fu grinder, is what I use for rotor brooch or annular cutters. More to come in future vids. Bye for now.